A gym membership in Taiwan is pretty much the same as getting one in most countries in the world. You have a few different choices. So I'm going to run through my membership at my health club chain. Then I'm going to go through a few different other options just so anyone who's coming here, maybe to visit, maybe to settle, can get a rough idea of what to expect and what price to pay. I'm a member of probably one of the biggest gymnasium chains in Taiwan, World Gym. And it is your type of factory chain where they have locations everywhere around the country. But when it comes down to gym membership, it's normally about convenience and price for people. The facility and equipment normally is similar in most places where you go. So I pay £32, around 41 US dollar for my membership. And that gives me access to all of the different venues across the city of Taipei, apart from two. So the two ones what are exclusive to people who pay a higher membership fee, I don't need to use anyway because they're further away. Within my membership, I get access to all of the studio classes, all usage of the facility, as in cardio machines, resistant machines, all the resistance free weights. The majority of the gyms have a boxing ring and some boxing facility as well. There's a lot of SNQs, so speed, agility and quickness parts of the gymnasiums as well. And some of them even have a swimming pool. Some have an indoor pool, as you can see here. Some have an outdoor pool, which is brilliant on a brighter day than it is today. And if not all, the majority have access to sauna, steam room, a spa, so like a little plunge pool where you get to go naked in the pool and sit around with other guys. I don't know what they do in the women's, but that's the gent side of things anyway. This is a chain of gyms which have a, a few venues across the city as well, and you basically pay one NT per minute. So you can go in for a 60 minute session and pay 60 NT, which is around £1.50. As you can see, the facility is pretty good. You've got all the resistance machines, all the free weights, and also good area for some CrossFit as well. Then you've got the public gym, which is normally around £1 to £1.50 per hour. Okay, You just pay at reception, there's no contract involved, and then you go up and use the facility. You clock in and then you clock out on the way. If you go over, you just pay the extra fee. These are normally not a glamorous option, but again, you have all the equipment you need if the location is convenient for you. The public gyms are normally located around the city and again, easy accessible. No hassle, no contract, no commitment needed. And then for those of you who like a good old franchise gym, there's the UFC gym as well, which is a little bit more pricey. You could be looking around 50 to 55 pound per month, depending what you want, because some of them do offer classes included or personal training or boxing sessions or MMA sessions included or just gym usage, okay? So it does range from around £55 to around £70, £75, depending on what you're looking for. And of course, like I said before, it's all about the location. If you do commit to a contract, make sure that you have someone with you if you can't read Mandarin or Chinese because the contract will be in Chinese and there will be certain things in there which may catch you out. They do allow you to pass your membership on to other people for a small fee, which a lot of people do who come to live and leave or study and then leave again. But just make sure you are aware of what the contract states what the obligations are as you from a customer. Just beware that a lot of the chain ones, even like Will Gym, depending on which salesperson you get, will try and push things, okay? I used to go to True Yoga, again, lots of venues around the country, and they can be quite ridiculous. So having been a member there for two years before, I went away, I came back, I tried to join again, and it, gave, it was the same salesperson, gave me a completely different price, and tried to force personal training sessions onto me which would have increased my price even i told them i'm a qualified personal trainer they said you've got to take them i said i don't want them and that was my decision not to go with them so you do have to be quite strong as a foreigner sometimes they do just leave you alone and get you to sign make sure you know what you're signing and then it's up to you to keep yourself fit and active for when you're eating all the beautiful food here in taiwan enjoy